Okay, so um, I left you here. We've got this beautiful map of uh, UW River Falls of all places. I'm now at Lacrosse, so please, I'm not um, changing my allegiances. But um, so we've got this map, but it's spilling off the edges of our stage. So the first thing we want to do, because this is kind of distracting, is get rid of all this garbage, miscellaneous garbage going over the edge of the stage. Now. Uh, what we can do is create a mask layer. Now what's kind of nice about uh, Adobe Flash is masks make a little more sense than they do in Adobe Illustrator. I know a lot of my students struggle with masks in Adobe Illustrator because they can never find the right layer to create a mask on, etc. In this, it's pretty straightforward. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. And it's probably going to be layer 7 in yours, but it's layer 8 in this one. And regardless of what it's called, we can rename it or whatnot. Um, by simply double clicking on the text here and we'll call this mask layer. Now what is a mask layer? Basically what a mask layer is is we can put other layers underneath this layer and anything we draw in a mask layer will uh, be like a cookie cutter. It'll act as a, a viewport if you will to anything underneath it so that only areas that have something in the mask layer will be visible underneath. Let me just show you, it's hard to explain. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll move this over, is uh, you're, to edit any layers kind of properties or features, what you do is don't double click on the text, but to the left there's a little document icon, double click on that. And what we'll get is this thing called layer properties. And here you can have a normal layer, a folder, a guide, a masked layer, etc. We're going to create this into a mask layer. This is going to act as our mask, something that basically uh, blocks out areas outside of it from being viewed. Let's click OK. Now with all the other layers locked, it's pretty safe. We're going to draw a rectangle the size of the stage. And we know that our stage is 800 by 600, so I'm just going to draw a rectangle kind of haphazardly. Double click in the middle with the arrow tool up here, letter V for shortcut. And, oh, I thought, oh, up here in the properties, there's this hidden dialog position and size. I'm going to write width 800, height 600, um, x 0, y 0, and those are the coordinates on the stage. So we want it at x, y 0, start, uh, 0, 0 starts in the upper left corner. So now this covers our entire stage. And I'm going to click off of this. Now, We've got our mask layer. What we have to do is drag our other layers so that they're associated with it. Um, so right now we just have this big ugly orange box covering the most important part of our map. Let's lock our mask layer. Click lock. And what you notice is the object we drew in the mask layer disappears. If I unlock this, it comes back. Mask layers, the, what you draw in a mask layer isn't real. It's never going to be seen by anybody. You don't want it to be seen. Um, the reason it disappears when you lock it is because it's not supposed to be seen. When you unlock it, they presume you want to edit the shapes on your mask layer. That's why it shows up. All right. Holding down the shift key, what you can do is you click on the top layer that isn't your mask layer. Hold down the shift key and click on the bottom layer. And then click and drag all of these up slightly. And what you'll see is a small indent underneath the mask layer. When you see this like circle with a line, click let go, and you'll notice that all these other layers, they get a little kind of turquoise net, fishnet type look here. That means that these layers are now being masked by that top layer. And what you'll also notice is everything outside of that mask has disappeared. Now it's still there, it's just not visible and nobody will see it. You can still edit it um, and tweak it, but it's, it's gone. So now what we've done is we've created a mask of our map and we're pretty much ready to start um, tweaking the map itself and adding interactivity.